Welcome to the Health Engineer Show. I'm Clint Fuquay, the Health Engineer, right here on the Offbeat Business Network. Today, have you heard this thing called self-care? I'm sure you have, it's been in the news a lot. That's what we're gonna talk about that today in Health in the News, which is this segment. So, you've seen and heard stuff. You've seen, you should go out, get yourself a massage, take a day off, rest a little bit more. Maybe go Netflix and chill. Go see a movie, play some games, whatever it is, go take care of yourself. Well, self-care is great, but most of the time it's a one-time event. Self-care is a lifetime of trying to improve your health over time. And the big thing with that is commitment. It's a time commitment, it's a life commitment. And most people start falling off on the commitment of this thing while they're trying to take care of themselves and their health. So today, I've got my buddy, Dean Lindsay, to come on. We're gonna talk about how to commit to taking care of yourself for life what that means, and the best strategies for staying committed to taking care of your health for the rest of your life. Clint Fuquay is the health engineer, dishing up health care reform through personal responsibility in the areas of nutrition, discipline, and fitness. Clint cuts through misunderstood health theory with over 35 years of practical results. Start taking control of your health today with the health engineer. Here's your host, Clint Fuquay. Welcome back. I'm Clint Fuquay, the health engineer, and this is my buddy, Dean Lindsay. Hey. Hey. Clint, thanks for having me on your show. Thank you for, thank you for coming on the show. Absolutely. I've, absolutely. Been, on, I've been on your set uh, how many times now? Uh, oh, several, good sir. Several, several and I yeah. thank you for that. Yeah. Always wise counsel coming yes. from the health engineer. Yeah. I have actually, I've made the dean list, Dean's list three times. That's right. Okay. <laughs> three he, times he, I've made the he dean's made list. the dean's list. Yeah, absolutely. it is. Anyway. So, all right, thank you for coming on. Yep. Uh, of course, I wanted to bring you on because you are an expert about, well, you're the progress agent. That is, cor that is correct. Don't use that. He's got a trademark, by the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he is. You, you are the, tr the, the progress agent. And so you've been talking to companies, individuals for years and years now about how to make progress. And the big thing, which you've talked about, is goal commitments. Goal commitment. Yeah. That's right. And you know, a lot of times in my programs, I, I give an example of you know, being committed to your, you know, healthy lifestyle because it is so, it is so universal. Uh, but yeah, there's been a lot of discussion, even if you're, whether, whether an organization is bringing me in for, for sales or for customer service uh, or, you know, leadership improvement, first you have to have the goal of that improvement before you can actually improve. And that's very similar, yeah. you know, with people in, in reference to, in reference to their goals of, of better health. You got to, you know, there's, you need to have that commitment before you're going to consistently take those actions. Yeah. And I talked a little bit earlier, uh, just in the opening segment about you know self-care self-care is a big thing now everybody's mm -hmm. talking about self-care taking mm -hmm. care of, taking better care of yourself and one of the pitfalls of that is people go out they'll do something once or twice you know to, to, to take care of themselves do some self-care go get a massage something like that but they don't they never actually follow through and have a plan in place for how to do that consistently, consistently or whenever it starts getting tough taking care of themselves especially when we start talking about mental care and stuff like that and really really taking care of yourself and do some self-care so well, well i thought it was one of those, it was great when you mentioned it like that because you're right that it is a continual continual thing i think even the, just the you know the awareness is 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 part of it but um, what I've what I've found to be true, whether it's a, whether it's a goal of of better health or or better business practices or better parenting or anything like that, we we have a, it's it's easy it's not it's not that challenging to know the actions that should be consistently taken. We take them a couple times, do them self care, yeah. um, and we understand that we should be um, committed. It's not and it's not hard to be committed to like your healthy lifestyle at nine thirty in the morning. You know, well, sometimes it is. <laughs> yeah, well, after healthy breakfast, <laughs> yeah. it's a lot harder later in the evening. You oh, know, yeah. and they're talking to us in the freezer or something. So what I tried to do, and what I try to do in a lot of my programs, is really try, and and it actually comes up a lot with people that once they have a health scare, oh yeah, then they get some commitment. But the commitment is not. There's something behind the commitment, and that's conviction. They now know they have. They have a. They have a, a strong enough why that builds on to that commitment. Um, Pat Benatar is yeah. quoted as saying in one of her tunes, uh, with the power of conviction, there is no sacrifice. With the power of conviction. You see, it's conviction that leads to commitment and commitment that leads to action. So what p p me and you and everybody mm -hmm. need, need, to, need to realize is that it's not knowing what to do 
It's, it's, it's about knowing what to do and continually growing your why. So you don't just need to know your why, you grow your why. And that's the conviction. That's the power of conviction. Mm -hmm. So then, then you're not sacrificing when you skip the, the cheesecake yeah. or, or you know, going to the gym or those aren't sacrifices because of that strong yeah. conviction. Yeah. I'm glad you brought that up because there's an even bigger thing right now with people, people grinding it out, okay? I'm going through the grind, I'm grinding it out. Uh, and you know, it's the whole, you gotta sacrifice to, to get these things, you gotta sacrifice to achieve. Mm -hmm. And I really want you, I'm glad you brought that up before I even threw it out there, which is the whole, look, it's not a sacrifice to give, to give these things up. Right. You're, you're yeah, saying, exactly. You're, you're, you're giving them up for something much better, so there is no sacrifice in that. Well, okay, okay. you say that because yeah. you, you see it easily from yeah. the side, <laughs> but we're marketed to all the time that that's good stuff when it's actually not even food. Oh, yeah. So you're, you understand, I mean, you're fighting the good fight and helping people position it correctly in, in their minds, but we've had things positioned in our minds, especially in this culture, in such a way that grinding is a, is a virtue. Oh, yeah. I, I good sir, do not grind. <laughs> I do not. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I I've, I've, I've put out there and like, look, you can only grind so much until you grind yourself into nothingness. I do some really cool, you know, things, helpful things every day. I think are going to help me and my family. And then I, I watch a movie. I do something. <laughs> I do that. I, I, I'm not kidding. So uh, yeah, I do not. I do not grind, and I am not. I am not. Uh, and, and that's actually in my business right now. I mean, the, some of the biggest, biggest people who are out there speaking. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the grind it out type oh, yeah. people. And I, I. Um, yeah. I do not concur yeah. with that if, statement. If we can't, let's go back to the why right quick and, okay. and some of the reasons, but, or at least reasoning out your why. Uh, because, you know, that's the big thing is, you know, figure out your why. Right. And Th that's what they say, figure out your why. But I'm, I'm yeah. trying to say you should even, you can continually grow your why. Give yourself more and more and more reasons. Shakespeare says strong reasons make strong actions. Mm -hmm. And so if we, we know the strong actions and either, either your body's going to give you strong reasons, you know, 10, 15 years from now, yep. or you're going to need to come up with other strong reasons to take the strong actions. I mean, uh, uh, whenever a, a, a group, uh, you know, uh, people are getting married, they start losing weight. Uh, yeah. Right? At, they at want least, the photo. Yeah. For the photo. And, and then, then what's the photo? Yeah, 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 after that. I mean, we all have, there's certain things we'll, we'll actually pull it together and those, you know, for those, for those, you know, that, that type of stuff. Um, the challenge, and this is because I had to study a lot of this stuff in my, in my, you know, in the books there and, uh, and all the things that I do, um, is to understand the psychology of how we make decisions. And so both these books are really about the psychology of how we make decisions. And the, I guess the very basic primer uh, to both those is to realize that everything we do, and this is my, this is what I've come up with based on all the studies I've done. Everything we do consciously or subconsciously, we do because we believe the perceived consequences of those actions will be us feeling the unique right mixture to us of pleasure, peace of mind, profit, prestige, pain avoidance, and power. Pleasure, peace of mind, profit, prestige, pain avoidance, and power. So the people that are grinding and telling everybody they're grinding, they think they're getting prestige out of saying that they're grinding, right? Um, the and same thing with health goals, you know, peace of mind, pain avoidance. You know, there's pleasure in uh, cheesecake. You can't say there's there's not, right? Oh, yeah. Yes, but there is. There is, there <laughs> is. But there can also be pleasure in not eating the cheesecake yeah. because you have a, a stronger conviction in some other way. So I utilize the six P's of progress in my in my personal life and then also in my business, but then also obviously that's what I'm that's what I'm working yeah. with people on is yeah. yeah. And and I wanted to segue that into your, your your own personal stuff that you've been going so we right. so we've been talking i've been i've been working with you on the side a little bit for, right, right, right for your right. own health and wellness right i mean it's uh, not it's just because you understand it uh doesn't mean you're it's easily to do yeah, yeah obviously yeah. um um i like cheesecake yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, who, who was it uh one of the big names out there was like, listen to everything you say, but oh, don't okay. watch me that, too close yeah, because this stuff is hard to do. Yeah, Jim Rohn, Jim Rohn <laughs> said that on a tape and it actually helped free me up big time because I did feel like a hypocrite that there's a lot of things that I could discuss, but that I wasn't actually able to do consistently in my life. And Jim Rohn uh, was asked uh, during a break at one of the big sessions that he that he did um, uh, by, by one of the participants came up and said, hey, Jim, you sure talk a, you know, talk a good game. How well do you do at this stuff? <laughs> And Jim looked at him and said, well, I got two answers for you. You listen real closely to what I'm saying because it's really good, important stuff. But don't watch me too close because this stuff is hard. So oh, that's, yeah. and that freed me up big time because I was like, hey, you know, you know, you kind of own up to the fact that I'm right here being human just yeah, like that, everybody that else. That goes for us in, in the fitness industry too. We don't, we don't do it perfectly all the time, even me. 
He's close. Yeah. He's close. Hey, um, so, so yeah, you helped me with a lot of different stuff you know, in reference to when to eat what and what to eat, what not to eat, and then even more specifically the the you know the the, the getting more fluids and all that. Oh stuff. yeah, so. hydration. So let's join, join the personal route. This this is the cry session. Okay. <laughs> so um, what what have been your 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 biggest your biggest obstacles? The the you know the quote unquote failures that you had and the biggest successes with getting healthier, using your own system of you know basically progressing and in, in finding your whys and well i ended up having to go to a gym that had a lot of perks i'm now going to a gym with the sauna and the spa and the steam room and the pool because i realized that i do need all those six piece all the time. <laughs> so i need to make sure that if i'm going to be in the gym 30 minutes i know that the sauna i mean yeah. i know i'm going to get in the Tub. So uh, <laughs> I did end up doing that, and uh, I'm trying to be a lot more proactive. Uh, I have, to have a tendency to, if I'm on the road a little bit speaking and stuff, I have a tendency to get um, uh, you know a little bit of a flu cold. So I'm I'm doing a lot more self care prior to a lot more vitamin C and pineapples and green peppers and stuff. So those are the those are the main thing. And then yeah. not beating myself up when I do. When I do, because when you start beating yourself up, that's when you really just, oh, yeah. You know, and then just going and just. That's when the cheesecake comes and attacks you. <laughs> it holds you down and says, you know, I'm, tease, I'm teasing about the cheesecake because it's not usually in the house. It's usually Kit Kats because I have a 15 year old. Oh, yeah. And, you know, we're, of course, she gets a Kit Kat in her lunch yeah, and stuff. And she, I don't so, know where so, those so, are. So, so you break you off oh, a piece. Oh, man. Break up a, a piece of the Kit Kat. Good reference. Way to go. Way to go. So that's what's shaking. So, yeah, that would be the stuff. But what I'm saying there is, since I don't beat myself up about the fact that maybe I'm, um, not not because I'm a little bit under the weather and I'm not going to the gym. I don't like just go, you know, don't I don't I, I I don't eat as well as I should, but I don't eat as bad as I used to. And so I'm not making the big dip. Because also what i what I know is as soon as you start messing with sugar, sugar starts messing with you. Yes, it and does. it really starts messing with your head and then you just get more and more and so um and then you feel really cruddy the next day and stuff. And so um I'm not doing that anymore. All right. Any 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 last words of wisdom as we close this out? Um you know, never, dis this is not my quote, this is Plato, never discourage anyone who continually makes progress no matter how slow, and that includes you. That is fantastic. Thanks, Thank bud. you. Thank you for coming on hey, today. Hey, rock and roll. Congrats on the show. Thank you. Thank you for, for being guest number one. Yeah, well, there well. it is. And for everybody else, come back and join us later for the next segment of the Health Engineer Show right here on Offbeat Business Media Network. At Work Suites, get back to work your way. Business addresses, co working, executive office suites, we really thrive on helping small businesses expand their horizons from simply working out of their home. What's really nice is we're flexible with our terms. We don't require you to sign a lease with us, go month to month, or stay a couple years. You may only need a part time space. You'll have a full kitchen, cover garage access. This is the ideal way to work through the transition in your business and get you up to speed quickly. Private offices have dedicated Wi-Fi, furniture, 24-7 access. Call 888-445-9675 and check us out at worksuites.com to schedule your tour. You're gonna love it here. 888-445-9675. Hi, I'm Clint Fuquay. This is Health in Motion. Uh, thank you for joining me. I am the health engineer, and today, well, we're gonna get you moving. This thing you see here right, right there is a chair. This is now considered as deadly as a cigarette. And since we're living in them a lot more, uh, day to day, you go to work, you're in the car, that's where you're at most of the time. We're gonna turn you into a professional sitter, and we're gonna use this thing that should be killing you, and we're gonna get you, we're gonna get you stronger through this thing so let's start um before we can start moving we have to learn how to be still and part of being still is learning how to breathe breathing is one thing that will keep you alive if you don't believe me try not breathing for a minute okay so we're going to talk about we're going to do some breathing some breathing exercises get sunk into our tva it's going to get your abs a lot better we know you want better abs so this is where we start before we start doing crunches or anything else we have to be able to sit properly so we're in the seat we're going to be up front on the seat, okay? Notice I'm far away from the uh, back here. We're gonna take your hand, I want you to put your hand on your stomach, okay? Not on the chest. Most everybody breathes up here. We are not gonna breathe up here through the chest. The chest is never going to move, all right? I want you to focus here. I want you to get connected 
to yourself, connected to your core. If you've ever heard about Pilates, done Pilates, they talk about the core and being connected to it, uh, your powerhouse. That's it. It's TVA, it actually wraps around your bite. It's like your own personal girdle, wraps around to your, to your back, helps keep your back stable, helps keep your abs stable. It actually pulls them in. So not only do you have the six pack, but your abs are flat. That's how you get those. So hand is gonna be on the stomach. We're gonna start off with just some basic breathing, okay? I want you to sit up straight. So chest is gonna be up, think about posture. Shoulders gonna be very, very relaxed. So we're not gonna be doing anything up here. Nothing moves. Hand on the stomach, I just want you to breathe in. Through your nose. We're gonna hold that breath. We're gonna breathe out through your mouth, okay? We're gonna breathe into the nose, out through the mouth. I'm just gonna do a couple of these with me, okay? This, this is participation, I want you to do these with me here. So breathe in, breathe out, and notice my hand is gonna move. Breathe in, breathe out. Into the nose, think dad bod. Breathe out through the mouth, think beach bod, okay? Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. We're gonna rest for just a second because if you do this too many times, well, one, you're gonna get high because you're taking in a lot of oxygen, much more than you'd normally take in. So we're working on getting your diaphragm, which is right here, to pull down, pull a lot of air into your lungs where no one doesn't go, which is deep down your lungs, and then we get to push all that extra carbon dioxide out. So if you're feeling stressed, you're at work, you've been talking on the phone, you've, all this stuff is going on, kids are talking because you know we've been stuck inside with everybody, right? To de-stress, take a little breathe break, okay? It'll be huge for you on a stress standpoint. It's gonna bring, bring blood pressure down, it's gonna help you think, you run into a problem, take a breathe break. Smokers, take a smoke break, I want you to take a breathe break, okay? Same thing, 15 minutes or less, I'm just sitting, relaxing, breathing, and then, well, the stress will go away. You'll start thinking more clearly, clearly, and you'll get your work done much faster. So you'll spend less time doing your work. You'll get a lot more done. You'll be much more efficient. You'll be happier because we all want to be happier. And then you can go enjoy life. And not only can you enjoy life, you're going to enjoy the six pack that you're working on that you get to take with you everywhere so you can be the life of the party. Okay? So that is it for breathing and, well, staying still. Because until you learn how to stay still, you can't actually move properly. And until you can breathe, you can't move and function properly, especially when we get into, as you know, notice we're in the gym, as we start doing stuff in here, we have to do this first. If this doesn't happen, nothing else happens. Uh, you can't lift properly, you'll have injuries, you'll have back aches, and this way it takes that pain out of your back, it takes the pain out of your neck, more importantly, because we get to relax. We focus here, everything else gets to relax, and that's it. So hope you, hope you enjoyed this. This is Health in Motion. I'm Clint Fuqua, the health engineer. Come back next episode, and we're gonna add on to this. This is an add-on production. So we're gonna be in this chair for the next couple of segments. And well, we're gonna get you fit for life. This way you move forward to a better life. Thank you. I'm Clint Fugo, the health engineer, here on the Health Engineer Show on the Offbeat Business Network. You've been watching The Health Engineer with host Clint Fuque. For guest and sponsor information, call 469-585-1023. The Health Engineer is produced by Offbeat Business Media for the OBBM Network and made possible through the generous support of sponsors and viewers like you. For program information, call 214-714-0495. The Health Engineer, Offbeat Business Media LLC and OBBM Network trademarks and all portions of this broadcast are produced for the exclusive use of the OBBM Network and affiliates and may not be reproduced without permission by Offbeat Business Media LLC. All inquiries are directed to call 214-714-0495.